I do unto him because he cares for you. Amen? Amen. The first thing it says in verse 6 is humble yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen? Everyone say humble. humble. That means I need to realize, first of all, that I have some issues. Second of all, I need to allow myself to be demoted. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Sometimes in the natural, we just promote ourselves. And we don't right. allow God to promote. And God says, once you demote you from the throne of righteousness, where I am or where I'm supposed to be, then I will exalt you. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. The problem right now is you're in control, therefore God cannot be in control. He's not going to fight you for a position. Amen? Because mm -hmm. he doesn't have anything to prove to us. Then he tells us all of your concerns, all of your worries, you need to get that over to him because I care for you. Mm -hmm. The reason for that is another way we exalt ourselves is we begin to handle our own problems instead of allowing God to be God and figure it out. We begin to work it out. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Bible tells you to work out your own soul's salvation. That means you need to live right. Mm -hmm. That's your standard. It does not tell you to work out your own problems. Amen. I'm supposed to trust God and seek his face. Right. And then the Holy Spirit gives me wisdom and insight on what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. Amen. Amen. And that's why it said right after humbling yourself, then cast all of your uh, anxieties or burdens. The old folks said, cast your burdens unto Jesus. Amen? Right. So that he can work it out. Verse 8, be self-controlled and alert. Amen? Mm -hmm. Because your enemy prowls around like a, war, a roaring lion seeking who he can devour. Mm -hmm. Meaning he is out there waiting for you. Right. So to be sober, because I was wondering, um, let me go back. It says have, well... One translation says, instead of alert, it says be sober. And I was like, what does that mean? Because I don't drink. So, and hopefully y'all don't indulge in those kinds of activities. Praise God. So, <laughs> what he meant was, I need for you to make sure that you are looking at all times. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. Amen? Mm -hmm. That's a good word. Vigilant. Amen? Right. I need to make sure that I am careful. Because mm -hmm. sometimes, as God begins to work, we begin to think, well, I'm doing good. I'm blessed and highly favored mm -hmm. and things seem to be going good and that's when stuff pop off. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. And because we're not prepared spiritually is a great fall for us mm -hmm. and can lead to a spiritual death for us because we're not prepared in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which only takes you reading your word. Staying familiar. Amen? Amen. Right. When things are going good, I gotta make sure I'm looking out for the enemy because I know he's waiting on me to fall. He's planning something. Kind of like children. You know, we don't have any children. When they get real quiet, you just go check. Yeah. Because it's like something's they not the right. Sun. They're under something. Mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> and, and then you feel that, oh, oh, they're just sleeping. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Let them sleep the rest of the night. Praise the Lord. That's how I feel about my niece and nephew. Praise the Lord. So, <laughs> same thing with us with the enemy. We got to be on guard. Mm -hmm. 